Hello, friends. I am Chevy. Welcome to the shed. How are you today? How's how's things? How was your weekend? Today is a day off for me. Been uh, been at home today, playing video games and and recording videos and having fun. And um, it's funny because I work in a school district where today is off, but my kids, my children, go to school districts uh, where they had school today. So I'm home alone today, which has been. Somewhat enjoyable. I've gone and helped a friend with some home repairs, which I always enjoy doing. I'm, I'm that's like besides gaming and YouTube and woodworking, uh, helping others is uh, like definitely in my top top five. Probably really is probably my favorite hobby. I really enjoy it. So anyway, um, so the gaming channel I did. Uh, I finished out playing Firewatch this weekend. Now, if you haven't been over the gaming channel, please, um, wherever the thing pops up, go check it out. And and if you haven't watched any of the stuff, I would suggest watching Firewatch. Uh, when when I started the gaming channel, I started it because um, lots of people asked me, "Hey, will you will you record yourself playing games?" Okay. You know, I've shown you a few games here on the show before, and so I thought, well, I will do that, but I don't want to muddle up this channel and give people even more confusion about what's going on here. So I started a new channel. And um, over there, I play games. I said, sure, I will do that. What do you want me to play? And so I asked for your input. And on everybody's list was Firewatch. Firewatch came out last year, and I had heard of the name of the game, and that was the extent of my knowledge. Maybe I'd seen the logo or something. And I started playing it. And I finished it this weekend. I just uh, rendered and uploaded the final video. So today on the channel, like part three came out and then I, it's a six part series. So I broke it out into six pieces. And I tell you what, I loved it. I loved the experience of that game. And I'm not gonna, there's no spoilers here uh, for the most part. Nothing that matters, let me put it that way. So the game is uh, about a man who goes on a on a life journey. You start off answering a bunch of questions, kind of like you know, what would you do here? What would you do there? And I'm not sure how much that shapes um, the the dialogue going forward, but it definitely puts you in the mindset of who you are going on, on this adventure, and. First of all, I will say the gameplay in this in this game is very very light. There's very little gameplay. Uh, there's some puzzles that are literally like one step. Pu oh, okay, do that. Right. It's mostly an adventure game, like a point and click adventure game, but from a first person perspective. And it's very dialogue heavy, which which was really a challenge uh, to do a let's play on. Because like I'm supposed to narrate, I'm supposed to talk to you and narrate and and uh, maybe goof off with the environment or just tell you the play by play. And that's really hard to do when the characters are constantly talking. So you start off, you you pick some choices about your life and and your wife and this sort of thing, and then. You end up, um, you're going to hike out into the woods and be a fire watch for a summer. And that's essentially the start of the game. And then you spend your summer out there and some weird stuff starts happening. I was really excited when the weird stuff started happening in the game because uh, for the first, I don't know, maybe hour or hour and a half of the game, you're just kind of this guy in the woods. You're having uh, conversations via a radio with a lady that's in another watchtower that you never, you've never met. And um, yeah, I'm not, you know, for the first hour or so, maybe hour and a half, you're kind of like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Is this the game? Is it just a walking simulator? And in some respects, it is. In some respects, you're just kind of walking around the woods and, you know, you're finding uh, neat little things and running into people and then the creepiness starts to happen and it gets weird. And that's what I was hoping for, right? I was hoping for kind of this Twin Peaksy feeling. This like something strange is happening out here and I don't know what it is. And you end up going on this uh, entire like that that becomes the the focus of the game, I guess, is this little side adventure. 
uh, of trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Funny thing is, you basically don't do any fire watching, <laughs> right? Like, it's really interesting because in the beginning of the game, you go and you're, you climb up in your tower and you kind of have this space, you know, okay, uh, this is where everything is. And you're talking to the your supervisor who is in another tower and she's like, yeah, look around. She's like, you know, find this thing and you look and it's this circle thing. And she's like, that's a fire finder and it was invented by this guy. This is how you're going to locate fires and, and tell the crew where to go. And you're like, okay. So I thought initially like, okay, cool. So I'm going to have to like, you know, look for fires. No, you really don't. Like, there's a couple of instances where there's some smoke and you go find it and it's a campfire kind of thing. But there's you don't actually look for fires in this in this game. Um, so that was interesting. So I thought, you know, at the beginning, I thought, okay, cool. So I'm going to be doing some fire watching and talking to this lady and maybe I'd have to, you know, come down from my tower because obviously it was a large 3D landscape. Um, in reality, you don't do really any fire watching. Um, I would suppose that fire watches... Uh, if that, I'm not even sure that job actually exists, but I would suppose it's a fairly boring job. I don't think there's like just fires all the time and you're out there calling in fires, but, um, this game goes on a really personal journey. And for me in particular, um, it, there's some memories that this game brought back, um, dealing with the main character situation with, uh, just being in the woods with some of the things that he encounters. And, um, you know, it was a really powerful game. At the end of the series, it, which comes out on Thursday, I think, Wednesday or Thursday, um, I kind of didn't know what to say when I finished it all out. You'll see that if you watch it. And it's like, well, how do I comment on something that I'm not sure I fully comprehend yet? Like, is it going to take me a while? And I think it took me, it didn't take me a you know, a week, but uh, obviously, because I just finished it on Saturday, it it took me a few hours of thinking about it. Like, what did that game mean? Like, where did where did that all come from? What what was? Why did I love that so much? Because there's so little game about it, and so much more of a personal journey. And I mean that like me personally going through this adventure uh, had an effect on me. And so, if you've played the game. In the comments down below, please uh, tell me what you got out of it. Try to keep it, you know, don't give away the ending or anything like that. Because I think that the ending of that game is uh, going to be different for everybody. It's it's going to be, um, it's going to be love-hate. And I think the people who hate it might end up liking it after after letting it sit for a little while. But, um, you know, try, try not to be super spoilery in the comments. But please, let me know. If you've checked out the gaming channel, thank you so much for hopping on over there. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers because once I do that, I can unlock the uh, custom URL so I can point people to YouTube.com, Chevy Plays, or whatever. Um, so, you know, no pressure. But thank you for checking it out. Thank you for suggesting games. If you have more games that you'd like to see me play, you can hit the, the comments on any of my Shed videos or any of the gameplay videos. Or you can always find me on Twitter at ChevyDod or my email, uh, Chevy at TheDailyShed.com. And we can keep in contact because I really like hearing from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from americaslibrary.gov. Who named Pennsylvania? Oh, I know this one. Although Swedes and Dutch were the first European settlers, William Penn, a Quaker, named Pennsylvania in honor of his father by combining the name Penn in the Latin term Sylvania, which translates as woodlands, to come up with Penn's woodlands. Okay, I didn't know the Sylvania part. So what is Transylvania? <laughs>